I had previously discussed a few stories related to the Grammys and Music Awards shows. I most recently talked about the time Bob Dylan was soy bombed, in addition to the time the Guns N' Roses swore on live TV at the American Music Awards. The links to those videos are down below. But today I want to go back to the Grammys in 2014 that would result in Queens of the Stone Age leader Josh Homme and Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails getting screwed over by the awards show and taking out their frustrations in the press. Ahead of the 2014 Grammys, it was announced that Josh Homme, Dave Grohl, Trent Reznor, and Lindsey Buckingham would perform together to end the Grammys that year. The supergroup would play through two songs, including Copy of A from Nine Inch Nails' latest release at the time, Hesitation Marks, followed by the Queens of the Stone Age song My God is the Sun from their latest record Like Clockwork. Drummer Dave Grohl would even play on the studio recording of the track. To introduce the supergroup, host LL Cool J would shout, This is how we rock and roll. Since the award show was running about 15 minutes behind schedule, the supergroup's second song of the night was cut short by CBS or one of the producers of the Grammys who would be running credits along with ads over the band's live performance. These included ads for airlines and CBS TV shows. Rock and roll wouldn't get much love during that year's Grammys, as Imagine Dragons beat out Queens of the Stone Age for best rock performance. Reznor would make his displeasure known going on Twitter immediately following the award show and saying, music's biggest night to be disrespected, a heartfelt F you guys. One of the producers for the Grammys would respond to Reznor's tweet telling The Hollywood Reporter, I'm sorry he was upset. I did tell him we'd take it as long as we could. The number was 5-6 minutes long and we got within 1 minute and 20 seconds of the end. We got as close as we could possibly get, they'd say. This wasn't the first time Reznor criticized the Grammys. During a 2011 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, he would reveal that he doesn't proudly display his past Grammy Awards from 1993 and 1996, saying, Why don't the Grammys matter? Because it feels rigged and cheap like a popularity contest that Insiders Club has decided. Reznor wasn't the only one to blast the Grammys, as several weeks after the ceremony took place, Queens of the Stone Age were on tour playing a show in Houston, Texas, and Hami would take a shot at the Grammys and Imagine Dragons saying, this next song is by Imagine Dragons, made disparaging comments about the pop act. Hami would go on to say, just effing kidding, wait, 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 you've got to admit, you're all imagining dragons right now. You know, F everything, F the man, F Imagine Dragons, F the Grammys. Hami would admit shortly after he was intoxicated when he made the remarks and said he would still be open to playing the Grammys in the future, revealing, I'd play anywhere, I don't care about the drama, I got misunderstood for something I said when I was reacting to someone in the audience recently, and not to mention I was really drunk, but the truth is I'm a musician, I play my music, I don't really worry about the rest, and I don't think it's necessary to worry or sweat the rest of the stuff, just go and play your music. That does it for today's video guys, thanks for watching, be sure to like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again in Rock and Roll True Story Sticker.